come to Formby Beach. Last week we had a little look at, I just hit myself in the face with my flip flops. <laughs> Last week we had a look at another beach in Liverpool, New Brighton, and today we are at a different beach. It, well, I wouldn't probably call this Liverpool, it's a little bit further out. Um, Merseyside, it's still in Merseyside though, and it is my favourite I think, I, this is my local beach, this is the beach that I come to most often, I've been here many many times and I love it, there's a bit of a different vibe going on today, I don't know why, like the, I've never seen the waves quite so big, the weather's a bit funky, I'm really enjoying it though. One of the cool things about Formby Beach is that it isn't just the beach, there's um, Formby Asparagus Trail, Formby's well known for its asparagus, the best asparagus in the world, it's delicious, and um, there's also a red school reserve. That you can, I've spotted one red school in all of my life, but there, apparently there's still are some red schools there. And there's woods, and there's sand dunes, and it's just an amazing beach, I think. For now, I'm going to head off the beach, head back to the car park where I started this walk, and we'll go from there. So this is where I've parked. This isn't the main car park. The main car park's further down there, but this is just like the road up to the main car park. I'm going to park here because this is where the woods are, and then I can have a little wander through the woods and along the asparagus trail first. So here is the Formby Asparagus Trail. It shows you where you can walk. There are the asparagus fields. It's not the right time of the year for asparagus. But what we will do, we're here, we'll head in and we'll walk through Squirrel Wood. So I've already gone the wrong way. <laughs> My intention was to go into school wood, but I've ended up sort of coming out onto the asparagus trail anyway. And like the wood is in there. We can go there. We can go there in a minute after after this trail. Look, Formby asparagus. Got little signs to tell you where you can find the asparagus. It's not in season right now, like I say. It's, I think it's, when is it, April? Early May to the 21st of June. I have been here when there's been loads of asparagus. You can see the dunes in the distance there. We'll head there after after the asparagus trail and the squirrel walk. We'll go over to the beach. I'm pretty sure around here, I've seen them before, I'm sure it's this area. There's some sheep as well. It's like a little private farm with some sheep. We'll see. We might find them. We're just going into the squirrel woods. If we're lucky, we'll see some red squirrels. But I don't fancy our chances. I have come here many, many times over the years and have seen a grand total of one red squirrel in about, I don't know, 50 visits. <laughs> Something that you find quite often in these woods. This is kind of just a, a starter of one. I don't even know what they're called. You know, when you make like a little house thing. I've been here with kids in the past and we've just spent hours and hours in the woods building like a big, whatever they're called. I don't know what these trees are, what they're called or whatever, but I do love them. They're really tall. As I'm walking along, I'm, I'm constantly looking up to see if I can spot a red squirrel, but unfortunately, we're kind of leaving the red squirrel reserve bit now, and no luck. Although, I didn't expect it, did I really? So, I don't know. I don't know how many there are these days, whether, to be honest, they're more or less all gone. Oh, look at this weird tree. I think I've gone slightly off, um, off track here. Yeah, I have. There's like a fence. Let's see if I can climb over it. Ooh, I can, but there's nettles on the other side and I've got flip-flops on. I 
Now I just need to avoid getting got by these nettles. Whoa, nearly fell. This is definitely not the right way to come. We'll find a path in a minute. Maybe. I don't know where I am now. Maybe I won't find a path. Maybe I've... <laughs> oh no! Oh, am I in someone's like private? Let's get through here. Ooh! All right, I'm lost. <laughs> Can't figure my way out. I've been here so many times. I feel like I get lost every single time. Maybe there's a path up ahead this way. Nope, I'm giving up. I decided I've gone wrong. I shouldn't have climbed over that fence. <laughs> so I'm going back. If I can get through. Ooh, it's my own fault for climbing a fence, isn't it? Gets a bit higher here. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Free. Okay, let's try and find our way to the beach. <laughs> it kind of is one of those things that I really quite love about Formula, that I do always get lost. You always like discover a new little section of the wood or whatever. It's fun. Let's go this way. There's some people walking this way, so we'll follow them. So we have done a little bit of a loop and we're coming out onto the main car park. We have parked like just to the right up there. So we're here, Formby Beach. The challenge with Formby Beach is once you get here, you can't just access the beach straight away. You have to clamber over some sand dunes a little bit first. Actually, to be honest, it's leaving that's worse. When you leave, you've got to clamber up them. When you arrive, it's all downhill. Here's Formby Beach. To be honest, I've never seen like this with the tide so high up and quite so wavy. It's normally still as anything. As we walked onto the beach by the car park, there were some signs talking about how these dunes are on top of rubble and you can see all of the rubble here. The dunes used to come really, really far out, but over the years, erosion has pushed them back and now it's exposing all this rubble, but to be honest, it's quite dangerous. <laughs> You can see there's sharp metal bits in it and like bricks and things. Not particularly what you want on a beach, but it is only this small area and the beach is huge, so you could just go to a different area, I guess. I don't know what they're doing to solve the issue, but they definitely need to be doing something. Like when I was a kid, I mean, that was a while ago, but the dunes came right out and covered all of this rubble, which I guess was kind of dangerous as well, because like we would roll down them and there's like metal rods underneath them. I love this beach. I wish I'd have brought something to go swimming in. I'd have loved to have gone in there today. I've worn my jeans up a little bit. I'm going for a splash. Might regret it, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Shoes off. Oh. weather is really quite amazing. I've never seen it like this before. I normally only come on boiling hot sunny days but it's quite warm but there's a bit of a cold breeze coming in from the sea and then every so often it's just like a bit of rain that comes and then stops. It like it's here for like five seconds then it goes. It's amazing. On clearer days you can see, oh actually I can see it, don't think you're probably able to see it on camera, but you can see Blackpool Tower there and the big one. Is it still called the big one? The big ride? I don't know what it's called anymore. I'm 
I'm now walking the dunes. I'm trying to hide from the wind, to be honest, so you can hear me. <laughs> Sorry about the wind noise. Um, I love it up in the dunes. We've spent hours and hours up here, like with kids rolling down them and things. I think that's what I love about Formby so much is that it is so varied. You've got the beach and you just chill on the beach, go in the sea, take a picnic, whatever, and come play in the dunes. You've got the wooded areas, the squirrels. I just love how there's so many different things that you can do here. Park. I'm not parked in that car park, I'm parked up this path here, I'll show you. The parking situation is, there's machines here, if you're a member of the National Trust you just have to come up here with your ticket, if you're not a member, £8.50 per car. There isn't a whole lot of parking, there's this car park, there is another one a little bit further over. I think all in all maybe like 200 cars, something like that, it's not a lot at all. And to be honest, sunny days, it's an absolute nightmare, the traffic to get into Formby. It's kind of like one road in, one road out, and so it's absolutely bonkers. There's no parking, like you can't park on the streets or anything outside. So maybe if you could, you could come by train. The nearest train station isn't Formby, it's Freshfields, I think, that's a little bit of a walk away. Not too bad. But yeah, it's, it is a nightmare. Sunny weekends. It's crazy, crazy traffic around for me. This is the path that I'm parked down. It's probably about a 10 minute walk to be honest to get to my car from the main car park back there. If you were going just to the beach, then you'd use, you'd come up and use this car park. Well, because I was going to the squirrel park and the asparagus trail and everything else, that is up here on the right, so it made more sense. Well, I suppose it wouldn't matter which one I did. I just chose to park up there <laughs> today. Let me know what you think. Have you been to Formby? Do you like it? It's all dark, we're under some trees at the moment. Yeah, like I say, it's my kind of local beach and I absolutely love it. And I hope you enjoyed having a little look around it with me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.